Miss South Africa 2023 is. Once you have this full prep schedule, you train, you do accents training, you do fittings, you do walk ramp training, interview training, everything is being prepped, your days are so busy, so full leading up to this big moment of representing South Africa and you come back and there's nothing, there's no schedule, there's no reason to ramp train, no accents training, it's I think for the system in itself, it's such a shock because you build, 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 build to nothing. For the longest time, I resented Miss Universe. I'm not going to even be shy about it. I did resent them for taking away such a big dream of mine and not valuing me as enough. And you get self-doubt. Am I enough? Why wasn't I good enough? The Demi Zorzi and Tamron was. Was it because I was second and a half? wasn't I worthy enough, you start questioning yourself at levels you've never done before. And I don't think it was the disappointment of not placing, it was more putting in the work and not getting the, the, the result. You come into this competition, you compare yourself to goals every single day. You look at this one that's good at speaking or walking or taller or longer hair, healthier hair, you can't help but to compare yourself. And I think what really helped me was I was so on top of my mental health, I would immediately deal with my emotions on the spot. I would be so self-assured in what I knew I had to offer. It made this journey so much easier for me. So it was a blessing in disguise. You can call it that now. Now that I sit here as Miss South Africa, <laughs> but, uh, ask me again a month ago, it would have been maybe different. <laughs> Mental health is your biggest asset. You can be fit, have a beautiful body, the best wardrobe, maybe speak the best, but mentally if you don't believe in yourself and you just don't feel at a good place in life, nothing feels worth it.